Okay, so now I've got all the parts uh, mounted in place. So the next thing is we want to go through and mark out all the knockouts so that when we take it all down, I can use the hole punch and knock all these holes out. So starting with the AC side, we're going to have uh, AC coming in through here to these guys. And we're going to have AC going out through here and a second line going out through here. There'll be like a main and a secondary output. So I've got these all marked out here. So when we take this off, I'll be able to punch those out. Here's the DC side. Again, I punched out all four of the big ones here. I'll probably bring the main um, from the battery line. Be two hots and two negatives. The two hots will come up over here. Two negatives will go up over here. Okay, so that's that. That'll drop down through here. And I'll either go through here in the bottom of the tray and come on down into the box below it, or I might curve over and go into the wall, and that way I can go down into the wall and come out down by the box. I haven't decided yet, so I'll punch one of those out. And over here... <clears throat> Okay, over here I got the transfer switch on the right and the um, output, secondary output panel. So for the transfer switch, I'll probably bring main power in from the utility here. So this will be the input for that. That'll run out through that cable tray up to the ceiling. Uh, comes through here. So we've got this marked off. That'll have to be cut. And in the bottom, the generator power will come up through this hole and be wired up. So I'm going to cut that one out. I'm thinking I'll, again, I'll cut it through the back of the cable tray, through here, go into the wall, down the wall, and out to the outside to the plug. And then, so you'll have generator coming in and you'll have line coming in, and then the output will go through this hole into the cable tray run over and that'll be the input to the AC side. Okay, for the output panel I'll have AC running output. Up, have to come up through this hole, power this bus, and then I'll have two or three uh, runs on breakers that'll go through here and those will run out through the cable tray. Okay, and the other thing is here at the end of this cable tray where it runs into this one, this has to be cut out. I'll probably just put two two inch holes in that to get through all the wires through this wall. Same thing up here. You can put a couple of two inch holes in here. Although there probably won't be a whole lot running through this. Most of it, the stuff in this tray is going to be from the three chargers. It'll drop down and go this way into the, go over here, into the DC side, into a DIN railed relays here. Okay, so the PT100, the wires will have PV coming in. It'll be a hole cut here. That has to be knocked out. And then this will be the PVN. And then the charging to the battery coming out of the charger will be knocked through this one. Okay. And then I think the last thing, well, not the last thing, but the RTR router is going to go here. It's the how you program it and how you can see what's going on. This has probably four or five, um, like, Cat5 cables network cables, RS-422 cables, whatever they are. Various cables coming out of here. I'm gonna have them go up through the back and run up through this knockout. So I'll put a two inch hole here. So that'll keep everything out of sight there. And then from there, it goes into the cable tray and can run wherever they need to run. Most of them are gonna go to the two inverters up here, 
the charge controller, some to the battery, temperature sensors, and so on. The last thing will be up at the top there, and I'm going to cut out that square, and that's how all this stuff gets from this power wall into the attic. And once it's in the attic, it goes wherever it needs to go. So that is pretty much it. Um, I'll take all this off the wall now, and in the next video we'll punch them all out. Thanks for watching.